Hey guys, today I have a short nail haul. I finally received all of my orders from AliExpress and I do have a couple items from Amazon. I will be starting off with AliExpress because these items took forever and I just want to show it already. So the first thing I have are some sequin flakes. They come in this little plastic packaging. This took two and a half months to arrive. They were 88 cents each and they are from the Your Sugar store. So I'll start off with this pink one here. It does come with a sponge tip and these flakes are actually on my nails right now so you can kind of see it's all over the place but let me just take it out. This does have a protective seal and when you open it it is messy because it is fully filled to the top so it kind of goes everywhere but it's this really nice pink color. So you can see it does look a little bit darker in the tube but let me just show you it compared to my nails again. This is what it looks like on the nail. And I really like this, but I think I'm going to switch it into the other container I have because I think it's just too small for what it is because every time I open it, it just goes everywhere and I want it in a bigger container. But this is my first one. And again, this was 88 cents, so that's a really great deal. This next one is a mixed color, so it's gold and red. Also comes with a sponge tip, which I do find useful. This next one is a gold and red, and when I was peeling off the seal, it did mess up my nails. So I'm kind of sad about that, but once you open this, so you can see it's like just going everywhere. But it's a really nice red and gold color. I think they have a lot more colors, but um, these are the only two I got for now because I wanted to see how it came out. I will link this down below. The only ones I won't link is the other AliExpress because I think the seller got rid of a lot of their products, which I'll actually mention later on. But moving on to the next thing, I do want to show you some Amazon stuff because it's only two items. And then I'll get on to my other AliExpress order. As you can see, these flakes are transferring everywhere. It's really difficult to get off my hands, but moving on to my first Amazon purchase. This is a peelable base coat that cost $14.95. I actually saw this a couple months back and I really wanted it, but I felt like it was so expensive and, you know, I just kept seeing it everywhere, so I caved in because of all the amazing reviews and I bought this. Now, a lot of people say you only need one coat because if you put any more than that, your nails will basically come off the next day so I did that the first time and it actually lasted about a week for me without like my nails coming off and I didn't really like that because I'm someone who constantly wants to change their nails so I do prefer two coats and also it's easier to remove when I do have two coats on on. I still don't know how I feel about this product because it's so expensive. Like usually, I mean everything you see in my haul is less than five bucks so spending fifteen dollars on this this is really expensive, so I don't know if I would recommend this yet. I think I need to use it a couple more times before I determine if it's actually worth the $15. My next purchase I made on Amazon is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. I have already used this, I just wanted to show you the packaging, but this was $4.97. I actually usually use this top coat here, but I find that once I get halfway to this, it gets super thick and I feel like I can't use it, so I feel like this is kind of a waste to get it again because this is around I think 10 bucks but this one is only five dollars and so far I do like it even though it kind of already like this has been dried for almost an hour and it's still messed up so I mean it does dry fast to the touch I just have this issue where I'm always picking at stuff so yeah I mean I don't know I think so far it is good it's just that I need to probably not layer so much of the polish underneath it and I would be good but yeah so far I do like this it is a nice top coat it does dry really fast I would say in about a minute or so my last items are going to be from Manicure Nail Art Store. This is on AliExpress, but I don't have any links because when I went back to find everything, they're all gone. So I'm not really sure what happened there. But this first item I have is Glittered Powder, and this was $0.49. Cents. It's really pretty. Actually, I think there's a link for this one, so if I do find it, I'll show you. The store is still up. I just The items that I have are gone now. So here's the first one really pretty glitter and then the next two i'm really shocked that i bought it because i feel like i would never pay a dollar for this so this first one let's see let's go with this star one this star rhinestone was one dollar and there's only one in here would i ever pay a dollar for one little gem 
I mean, I don't think so. You see the other things I buy? I'm just really shocked right now. And I wanted to message the store, but I think I just read it wrong. So here's it's the moon one. And this moon one was also a dollar. I'm very upset with this. I feel like I shouldn't use it because this was a dollar each. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty, but a dollar? These are my last items from Manicure Nail Art Store. They're all nail polishes. I will swatch them for you. The first one I'll start off with is this one here. It is actually a green color. It's in the number G01. And this was 88 cents. So I think I'm going to swatch all of them and then show you once they're all cured. But this is a nice green color. A lime green. Next up, I have a nail polish in the color or number H04. And this is a blue color. This was 83 cents. I think this one is a dark blue if I can remember right. Yeah, it's a dark blue. When I first looked at it, I thought it was a black. This one definitely needs two coats. My next polish is from Mad Doll, and this is in, I think, Z20. Yes, Z20, and this is a yellow color. This one was 74 cents. If you can see the light, that's actually my nail lamp on. Whoa, this is not orange. This is yellow. It's supposed to be a yellow, though. Going back to this NJ brand, I have this color in F19, and this is a white. This was 85 cents. I've been looking for a nice white polish, so I hope this one's good. Ooh, it looks pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. <laughs> Can you guys hear the background noise? My last polish from NJ is a gray color. This is in F12, and this one was 85 cents. It's just a normal gray. Here is what NJ's nail polish in G01 looks like. I'm not sure what happened when it cured, but as you can see, there is a little indentation there when it did cure. And with one coat, this is how the green polish turned out. With one coat of the NJ in H04, this is what the blue looks like. As you can see, you will need two coats, so I'll show you what it looks like after I do another layer of this blue. Here is my nail swatch after two coats. As you can see, it is now a nice dark blue color. It's really pretty. I think I can go for one more coat, but this is good enough for now. Switching over to the Mad Doll Polish in the number Z20. This is a yellow-orangish color. I felt like it looked more orange when I first showed you guys. It's really nice. It only took one swatch or one swipe to get this color. It's very opaque and I do like this one. The NJ Nail Polish in white, which is F19, turned out pretty good. I think there needs to be one more coat because you can see there is kind of a little bit of streaks going on. So I'll do one more coat and show you guys what that looks like. Here is what two coats of the F19 polish looks like. My last polish is the NJ color in F12. This is a gray. If you're wondering why I'm still mentioning the numbers, it's because you can still get these polishes from other sellers. So if you're interested, you can still find that on AliExpress. But this one is a nice gray color and this is only one swatch. Alrighty guys, so that's the end of my nail haul. I won't be purchasing from AliExpress for a while because I have enough nail supplies to last me more than a year. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.